Hello, I'm Mark from Moonstone Publications. Welcome to this overview of some of the stories we've covered over the past week. But first, please hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Research by the Actuarial Society of South Africa highlights why pensioners with living annuities should engage regularly with their financial advisors. The findings call into question the misconception held by many living annuitants that simply setting a low initial drawdown rate will ensure their capital lasts. The study simulated the outcomes of living annuities for 75 hypothetical pensioners. 32 depleted their capital within 30 years, despite starting with a modest drawdown rate of 5.7%. The findings underscore the necessity for ongoing reassessments of both investment portfolios and drawdown rates. Time is ticking for aspiring students who want to enroll in Moonstone Business School of Excellence's accredited qualifications. Applications for the second semester close on the 1st of July. Continuous learning is essential in a competitive job market. MBSE has more than a decade of experience in insurance and financial planning training. It offers a range of flexible online training solutions, enabling students to advance their careers while working. A week after the sentencing of Craig Warriner, two men have appeared in court on fraud and money laundering charges in connection with the collapsed BHI Trust Ponzi scheme. Sona Pele and Michael Haldane were not asked to plead and were remanded in custody pending a formal bail hearing. Haldane is the founder and former director of Global and Local. The FACA suspended its license in March. Pele is a director of Rubicon Administration Services. According to the charge sheet in the state's case against Warrener, Warrener directed Rubicon to issue investment certificates signed by him to beneficiaries, promising an annual return of 10%. Inflation and rising costs are causing significant strain in the insurance industry, leading to increased instances of underinsurance with dire consequences. Carolyn Thompson, an executive at Old Mutual Insure, says intermediaries play a crucial role in advising clients properly and ensuring they obtain adequate coverage to mitigate risks. She emphasizes the necessity of conducting thorough needs analyses, maintaining accurate records, and communicating policy limitations clearly. According to Thompson, failure to ensure adequate coverage could result in breaching the duty of care owed by intermediaries, potentially leaving them liable for claims. Old Mutual says retirement fund members face potential delays in withdrawal claims when the two-part retirement system goes live on the 1st of September. 10% of a member's fund value on the 31st of August, capped at 30,000 Rand, will be allocated to a member's savings component or pot. The complex seeding calculations are based on current savings and market values. This may delay the payout timelines, posing challenges for members who want to access their retirement savings. The South African Revenue Service's refusal to remit interest after concluding a voluntary disclosure program agreement with a taxpayer has sparked a legal battle now before the Constitutional Court. SARS is seeking to appeal a decision by the Supreme Court of Appeal, which ruled that it must consider such requests. This development arises in the ongoing tax saga of Medtronic International, stemming from a scheme orchestrated by an accountant that resulted in millions being stolen. Despite the VDP unit's willingness to waive certain penalties, it lacked the authority to waive VAT underpayment interest leading to a disagreement between SARS and Medtronic over the remission of interest after the VDP agreement. Medtronic argues it is entitled to request remission regardless of its participation in the VDP. The Constitutional Court's decision will have far-reaching implications for taxpayers and SARS alike. 
That's all we have for this week. You can read these stories and many more on our website, moonstone.co.za. Until next time, here's wishing you all the best from the team at Moonstone Information Refinery. 